Hi there, Hazelnut here with another Minecraft video. I've finished my implementation of Cube Hamster's tree to design and I'd like to show it you now. So it handles all the different sorts of trees that you get in Minecraft. So there we see an oak and um, all of the leaves are destroyed so you will always get enough saplings back uh, even if you grow jungle trees. Um, it will actually handle if uh, if a large oak gets grown. Uh, there'll be some leaves left at the top, um, which uh, will actually block off the top. Um, but you still get plenty of saplings back. Um, if if a large oak does grow, uh, the logs will get pushed to the centre by uh, the leaf destroyers. Uh, you might have to activate the machine a couple couple of times afterwards just to clear all those logs out of the way but it actually works quite well. Um, it's very rare though, don't often get large oaks. Um, so the main reason for this design is the spruce tree which I've just grown one there and the birch tree. They need a 5x5 five five area clear of anything uh, but leaves so you can't even have wood so most of the automated tree designs just can't handle birch and um, spruce trees and uh, now we have different colours of wood uh, that's really not acceptable to me because I want to build some things uh, using spruce wood, the dark wood and uh, finally let's go for a jungle tree just to show you that that works so there you have it, there's a jungle tree and uh, the trunk's pushed up and uh, you should be able to go around and get uh, get any saplings So. Did I get any jungle saplings? That can happen. Um, there's about half the chance of getting a jungle sapling um, than the other four trees, which is one of the reasons why uh, this design destroys all the leaf blocks. It's a 1 in 40 chance, I believe. There we go. We got two this time. So occasionally... Oh, we got three this time. So occasionally you're going to get... Um, going to get unlucky with the jungle trees but as long as you've got more than one sapling to start with you, you should be fine um, yeah so uh, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out uh, the main reason I've done it is because I think uh, Cube Hamster's tree to design is uh, really brilliant and uh, the only downside to it is the amount of resources it takes because this is intended to be for uh, built-in survival so I wanted to re-implement it to use less resources and I've done that. Uh, this uses 149 less repeaters than Cube Hamster's implementation um, it also uh, 340 redstone less and 40 pistons less uh, one of the main reasons it uses less pistons was because I actually only used five slices I found that the top level of pistons there was never any leaves up there the only time leaves grow up there is if a large oak grows which is very very rare and you never run out of oak saplings anyway so I decided to save the resources um, yep I have finished it off in here with uh, the stone brick so uh, you can use anything you like but basically the the stone is part of the mechanism and then the stone brick is just the platform to stand on hiding the circuitry um, I've also got a gravel or sand access uh, so um, if something does go wrong you can refill uh, the sand or gravel that breaks um, doesn't happen very often the only thing that would usually cause it is if um, if the logs being pushed out the top here uh, jammed up um, so I, I've just attached the, uh, the basically the block storage from cube hamsters one um, which is 12 by 12 so there's lots of storage there but if uh, if it does fill up then basically you'll find some gravel will get destroyed because it can't push the logs all the way up because this can't push the logs in and that can't push and so on so um, yeah as long as you don't let that fill completely up you should be fine uh, so as you can see um, this is the uh, the leaf destroyer circuit that I was showing and the central mechanism is the uh, the trunk pusher that I showed in a previous video and if we show the outside uh, the only difference is I had to extend the bud switch so uh, um, I've done that in a very similar way to cube hamster I also changed the this block that uh, that holds the state 
Um, so it starts up here when you put a sapling down it gets pulled down and then it gets pushed back up which sends a pulse, pulse through here when you grow the tree and that starts off all of the uh, mechanisms so yeah over here I've got one where uh, I've just left it bare bones uh, so you can actually see a bit more what's happening um, so if we hop down on here uh, there's no floor to stand on you can just see all the circuitry um, I think I'll grow another jungle tree uh, but it works exactly the same um, you can see more of what's going on uh, but the floor is all that stone brick and uh, you know as I say you can use anything there really so yeah um, I'm very happy with it I think uh, I think I'll definitely be making this in survival and uh, it's going to use a lot less redstone than uh, it would do if I just followed Cube Hamster's design. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I'll be uploading schematics and providing links in the description. I'll also provide links to Cube Hamster's original video. Uh, he's, he's the guy who designed this. Um, I just uh, implemented it slightly differently. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks again to Cube Hamster for the original design and that's it from me today. Thank you very much.